Most Canadians have likely noticed cod on a menu at some point, but many of us know very little about this fish species. The Atlantic cod is found throughout the northern Atlantic Ocean along the east coast of Canada. It's a demersal species of fish, which means it can be found near the ocean bottom, whether the water is five meters deep or 600. Nowadays, Atlantic cod are on average about two to three kilograms, or about the size of this bag of potatoes, but the largest one on record was bigger than me. This aquatic predator can be distinguished most easily by the barbel on its chin. Female cod reach sexual maturity at around six years of age and produce millions of eggs every spawning season. The smaller male cod will produce sounds from its swim bladder to attract females and establish its territory. Males compete to fertilize the buoyant eggs which will float to the ocean surface. Once hatched, the young fish feed off of an attached yolk sac until it's absorbed. After that, they must find their own food. When they reach about four centimeters in length, young cod will drop down to the ocean floor where they'll remain for up to 25 years of life, foraging at dawn and dusk. Only about one in a million fertilized eggs will survive to become a mature cod because of predation by larger fish, marine mammals, and even humans. A cod's diet will change throughout its life and is made up of a huge variety of invertebrates and fish, including plankton, shrimp, larva, capelin, herring, brittle stars, comb jellies, shellfish, crabs, and lobster. Cod will even eat stones in order to digest the organisms growing on them. Atlantic cod are a shoaling species, which means they travel in big structured groups led by larger fish scouts when migrating and feeding. Atlantic cod have played a prominent role throughout history in Canada. Many indigenous peoples like the Inuit, Innu, Maliseet, Mi'kmaq, and Beotuk relied on cod for sustenance long before foreign people arrived along the east coast. Norse people were the first to arrive from overseas in 1000 CE, and they fished for cod while inhabiting the area. Many years passed before other foreigners started to arrive in the 1500s. Fishermen from Spain, Portugal, France, and England came seasonally at first and then eventually built settlements. By the 1800s, large fisheries were established along the east coast of Canada, which harvested between 150,000 and 400,000 tons of cod annually. Northern Europeans preferred fresh cod and oil, while Southern Europeans and those from the West Indies preferred dried cod. New technological developments made in the 20th century led to peak harvests of almost 2 million tons of cod per year. Overfishing eventually resulted in the extreme reduction in population of Atlantic cod. This required a moratorium on cod fishing that was established in 1992. 23 years later, in 2015, two reports on cod fishery recovery offered hopeful and cautionary messages. Cod were increasing in numbers and in health. Much has been learned from past commercial fishing practices in Canada. And measures which are currently in place will hopefully conserve the Atlantic cod for many generations to come. And remember, no matter where you live in Canada, wildlife is close by, so get out and see it. <laughs>